Hi guys, hope you're all well. If you're new to Siege Studios, we're a premium miniature painting service with over 30 artists. Here at Siege we offer four painting levels, ranging from our bronze, premium gaming quality, up to our platinum competition standard. For your free quote today, follow the link in the description of this video. So let's have a look at these awesome characters from this Indomitus commission, which we've had the pleasure of working on for Lutin09. If you're unfamiliar with Lutin's channel, uh, I do recommend you definitely go and check it out. It will be linked in the description of this video. Um, Lutin does incredible background lore and story videos for Warhammer 40,000. Uh, there's a great selection of videos that I do recommend you go and check out. Uh, and again, check the link in the description of the video. So these awesome characters that we've got from this Indomitus commission, you might notice we've also got Illuminor Seras in the uh, selection of characters, not included in the Indomitus box but uh, Lutin definitely wanted uh, him to be in the force so obviously we had the pleasure of working on that phenomenal model again for him. Uh, let's start from left to right and have a look at the Plasmansa first of all. Uh, really really cool miniature uh, right from the get-go very very cool pose just pointing away there. Uh, the overall palette on this uh, on this sort of project it's got lovely sort of cool blues and sort of warm oranges across the infantry all the characters and, ca and other models in the, in the commission as you can see. Um, this guy armed with a war scythe uh, just with a really lovely blended blade uh, we've got loads of little gems and power areas just glowing in that sort of etheric orange which is really cool um, I do love all of the sort of long sort of tassels that you can see both on the left and right and also at the front that transition from sort of a steely blue through to a warm orange just on those across the miniature uh, that's the awesome awesome plasmansa and do like the uh, glowing orbs as well Simon, who's worked on this project, has done a really good job of just picking out the sort of uh, energy kind of aspect of those orbs. There's little swirls of yellow and sort of like uh, high contrast sort of dots and things on them just to really make that kind of energy feel across the uh, the models and range. Uh, so that's just a plasmansa. Uh, we'll leave Seraz till at last. I think he's an incredible model and he uh, can finish off this section. Uh, this is just obviously the Lord. Incredible model. Uh, really, really stoic pose. Do really like this model. It's I think it's probably one of my favourite models from the uh, Necron range now. And you can see just very, very commanding that huge war scythe uh, with that lovely orange to black kind of colorway um, do you like the sort of orangey kind of power uh, sort of lines just on the darker portions of the blade again you've got that energy kind of conduit thing on the on the war scythe that's just glowing another little orb and there's a couple of them across the model as you can see on the shoulders um, same with this sort of cable as well that goes to the war scythe you've got these lovely uh, little sort of uh, dots of yellow just sort of like the flickers of energy through that cable which I do really like and uh, just a very very imposing in sort of model so just you can see the glow on the eye sockets as well and then all the rib cage uh, just consistent across all of the characters and all of the models in the force uh, so that's just the lord we've next got the royal warden again a great sort of uh, sub level hq for a necron force i think the necrons have needed a character like this for quite some time and uh, this model does definitely fill those boots extremely well you've got a, a massive massive rifle on this dude and uh, all the sort of little orbs on the barrels of the gun all glowing the energy conduit kind of thing on the rifle as well just glowing there which is just really lovely attention to detail on Simon's behalf. Um all the sort of glazed bluish areas on the uh, on the armor as well and i really do love this kind of like shawl kind of thing that he's got again kind of similar to the tassels that were on the plasmansa but um just uh, picked out with that lovely transition from the orange to the blue on them as well which i just think works extremely nice uh, so that's just the royal warden we next up have the scorpec lord again a really really imposing model a uh, huge model i actually was surprised at how large this model was when i first saw it and uh, really really do think it's a great character to lead your necron army if you're thinking of adding a new hq and haven't got this chap yet um simon's done a great job across this model as you can see as well and i do really like the little accents of yellow on certain areas of the armor paneling just showing that orangey kind of glow just catching on those areas of the armor uh, which i think works extremely well um, again all the claws there just with that same transition from the orange to the blue and uh, that really lovely etheric kind of um sort of orangey glow across all the really important sort of uh sort of interest areas like the rib cage and the cables and sort of the orbs and things uh those sort of energy barrels on the on the weapon as well so that's just this phenomenal score pack lord and then last but by no means least we have the incredible uh, Illuminor Seraz just a phenomenal miniature uh, with a really great selection of objects to approach from just obviously painting miniatures and also just for interest um, again we're, we're ready to start well I think there's no better place than looking at this poor Imperial scribe that's getting his matter completely removed from his body uh, this really cool kind of blue to pinkish kind of transition on that sort of uh, that sort of matter that's being absorbed by him uh, the eyes incidentally glowing on the scribe as well just to show that that orange energy that's being used to kind of like draw the matter from him is, is kind of like flowing through his body a little attention to detail like that really makes a lot of interest on the model overall and uh, you can see the huge war scythe 
again with some really nice dark sections all highlighted with that orangey glow as you can see uh, the swirl obviously with little dots and of catch lights where the energy is sort of glowing the brightest these little vials all with matter inside them and energy uh, and incidentally the black stone sort of part of the miniature which is just here on the illuminor's shoulder uh, has got that orangey glow but you can see the nice areas of black on it as well just to show that it is a piece of black stone as well which i think works extremely well really cool base and i haven't mentioned the basing across the force yet but you've got this kind of like grayish bluish tinge which i think works extremely well with the blue complementing the orange quite nicely loads of skulls because obviously it's 40k and uh, these guys don't really take flesh home with them and uh, just a, an, an overall an incredible incredible model to add to this force for looting so we're going to have a look at the unending legion of uh, necron warriors uh, that have come with this awesome indomitus force and uh, there's 20 of them and then we've got a lovely six uh, sets of scarabs uh, all of these are all the new models as i'm sure you know from the indomitus box uh, necron warriors the old kit lasted a long time obviously really really good kit uh, but these new warriors are here to replace them uh, do love all the little details on them i think there's a lot of intricacy even in the infantry of the necrons where some are damaged some aren't some are pristine it's, it's quite nice and then we've got these great selection of new cheeky little scarabs that uh, i think really add and further on that kind of uh, necron robotic feel which is nice so i'm not going to pull forward every single uh, warrior because obviously there's 20 of them here but um, you can see just a lovely selection of all the little details details and things and again that really subtle orangey kind of colorway on the armor is done uh, and the reserved kind of blue areas in some of the recesses of the of the joints in the legs and arms and things is just there you've got all the orbs and things all fully painted and the en energy generator on the uh, on the weapon that's just glowing there in a, in really nicely so that's just uh, one of the warriors i'll pull forward a few of them as you can see it's a variation of poses this guy's obviously advancing and shooting which is quite cool uh, again you can see that just the glow in that rib cage there on the uh, on the model and those little orbs on the gun just obviously glowing in the orange just to match uh, again really really cool sort of undying sort of legion kind of feel they uh, they just keep coming at you uh, i'll pull forward the, the front five i think you can see the damage there just on the faceplate of that guy uh, a couple of like a skull on the odd base just a really really lovely kind of bluish grayish tinge on the on the basing just to complement that orange which is uh, is really nice so that's just uh, another one and i'll do the last two just so you can see a five unit on camera again just another one advancing here love the little sort of cables and things where they've taken damage just hanging down um got a little bit more of character to them than the old models which just um just obviously all are very 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 similar uh, they're all a little bit different which is quite nice uh, so that's just the uh, the fifth one from the front rank and then obviously you've got another uh, another uh, 15 behind that then let's have a look at these uh, little scarabs here uh, loads of little details on these have got those orbs on them which uh, Simon's done those swirls of yellow in them and uh, a nice little catch light on there just to show the light refracting on that orb uh, you've got the front one just uh, cheekily clawing over a skull there as well uh, so that's just the, uh, the one set of the scarabs and then we'll pull forward another one just so you can have a look but all six bases are exactly the same all the little orbs and lights and things all painted so that's just uh, that's just the uh, another scarab base. So let's have a look at the elites from this force and finish up we've got some really really cool models we've got two crypto thralls we've got three scorepec destroyers and then we have the reanimator a really really awesome awesome model uh, let's jump in and have a look at the crypto thralls first of all and i do absolutely love these these are one of my favorite models or the infantry models from the force uh, really cheeky little chaps um, these uh, devious little uh, claws on them and cheeky little heads on them and uh, also nicknamed as far as i'm aware as murder buckets uh, and i can see the reason why because they it does look like a bucket on legs uh, but a really really cool model uh, Simon's done a great job again using that orange and blue and steel colorway just to go through all of these little details on the model so uh, yeah a phenomenal phenomenal miniature uh, with a cheeky little orange glow in some of the vents and also on the eye uh, but a great great miniature and let's just look at the second one just so you can see consistency from model to model again the same interest and details all painted all edge highlighted across the uh, the model which I do really 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 like um, then let's have a look at these awesome Scorpec destroyers uh, again really really iconic I think these guys are are going to be a model that will look back in many years to come and uh, they'll stand strong in the Necron Rage for a very long time. Uh, again, in a very aggressive attacking pose, there were those double sort of uh, sort of shimmer kind of blades, which are really, really cool. Again, you've got that lovely orange and black kind of blended um, sort of energy effect on the uh, on those shimmers, which is lovely. 
all the rib cage again with that power glow as you'd expect and you've seen obviously in the other models the characters and things in the force uh, so that's just the first one next one a bit more of a guarded pose which is really cool again you've got that lovely sort of power glow there on the eyes and the little orbs and things are all glowing got some uh, some rusting pipes as well on the base which is another little bit of interest on there uh, so that's just him and then the third chap which just looks like he's advancing ready to give someone a very bad day you've got this guy here with these kind of double kind of like a uh, sort of shimmer to kind of things which are really cool love the sort of subtle orange glow on the head as well just where there's like a reflection refraction of the uh the energy from the from the weapons uh, so that's just the uh, the third one then lastly we've got this awesome reanimator which is very much like war of the worlds really really cool model you've got all the orbs and everything all glowing all over it uh just that cheeky little head there with the sort of eye that's also been done in that orange kind of glow um so i've done a really good job of picking out all the little intricate details on the armor the legs have got loads of little sort of gritty bitty bits of detail on them some damage and things which i do really like love the uh the sort of blending of the orange and things just on all the legs and uh, the the uh, especially the orb that's inside on the body just glowing there as well which is a lovely attention to detail on that on these uh, three orbs on the front just to show you guys the uh, sort of yellow kind of swirls and things that Simon's done on those orbs just to show that sort of etheric energy that's just sort of pulsing through those you can see all the little dots and swirls that are just done on those there but a lovely a bit of attention to detail just on this miniature so if you're unfamiliar with Lutin's channel then I do recommend you go and subscribe the link will be in the description of this video he's got loads of awesome 40k content on there sort of lore videos background videos videos about weaponry different characters loads of things so do definitely go check that out and uh, these Necrons are now off to go and fight with Lutin's uh, Ultramarines, which I know he's been working really hard on. Uh, so make sure you go and check his channel out, as I've said, so you can see these Necrons in even further glory. Thanks so, so much. So thanks for watching the video guys, I hope that you have enjoyed it. While you're here on YouTube, help us out by subscribing to the Siege channel. We upload at least three videos a week, so make sure you hit that bell icon to be notified when a new video is live. To see more, go follow us on our other social media where you can keep up to date with what we get up to and interact with us. If you're looking to learn from us, we offer online tuition on Patreon and physical classes nationally in the UK. Finally, to get your free quote today, click the link in the description of this video. From all the team here at Siege and myself, a massive thank you for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.